Before this video starts, I did want to let you guys know that I will be doing a Q&A video here in the next week or so, and also along with that doing my age reveal. So if you guys have any questions other than how old are you that I will be answering in that video, throw them all down below in the comments and I will be sure to answer them in that video. Hey guys, my name's Haley. Welcome back to the Disney Cupcake Channel and welcome to my summer 2020 room tour. I am very excited to show you guys all the displays that I had set up and don't forget to check out my room cleaning video where you guys could see me create and make and dust and clean all of these Disney displays that I will be showing you guys today. That will be linked down below along with all of my other room tour videos. I'd really appreciate it if you go check those out. Let's get started. First, starting off on the outside of my door, I have my please stand clear of the door tin sign and I added my fun little lei from the Polynesian Resort at Walt Disney World just to add to some summer fun. Here on the other side of the door, here's a look at this first corner. Here on the handle of the door, I have this light up food necklace that I got at Disney's Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World. Hanging on the back of the middle, of my door I have all of my scrunchies for all of my Disney bound outfits along with all of my necklaces. Next to that I have this white little jewelry stand that I got from Ikea and I have some little Disney items there on top like a fun little duster from Tokyo Disney Resort, my Tony Stark sunglasses, and my jar of movie tickets. Here on the top corner hanging on my wall I have a do what you love little sign and next to that I have my banner from the Disney store that is meant to hold pins. This banner was released last year for the monthly release very similar to the Minnie Mouse the main attraction release so here I just have some of my newest Disney pins like my cereal box pins and some other fun pin sets and I will have all of my pin videos linked down below as well. Now moving over to the middle of this wall, we have some Disney artwork there hanging above my mirror. We have some Disney pin artwork, and I do not count this in my Disney pin count. And we also have a Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom canvas. Moving down below that, I have three of my Disney Jumbo pins. This is just a really good place to put them since they are in boxes. Continuing down the wall there, you guys can see the two little banners there. On each side we have the Epcot 35 banner and the Walt Disney World 1971 banner and here we have just a mirror. <laughs> here going from the ground up we have this other fun little makeup stand that has a nice glass top so it's very very nice to clean that. And here we just have all of my makeup things like the different lotions and sprays and I keep all of my makeup brushes in Disney cups. I also like to switch out fun postcards and stickers there on my mirror as well. Panning now away from this area, we head over to my desk. But first, we're actually going to start on the ground. Here I have my Disney collection count, so I'm just going to do a quick little pan of all of the items that I have that you will see here kind of throughout this video. And I'll be doing collection videos all summer long. So don't forget to subscribe if you guys would like to see those. I'll be doing my popcorn bucket collection, Tsum Tsum collection and other videos just like that. Here to the right of my chair I have my little pencil kind of organizer area. This is where I keep all of my letters and pencils and markers and all of that. Moving up from that we have a nice little tabletop here. There with my iPad, my business cards, and some other fun little decor. Here on the top of my calendar, you guys may be able to spot in some of my videos, my Disney Cupcake stickers there hanging behind these little Stitch keychains, and I switch these out depending on the season, and I feel like Stitch is a very summer movie, so we have those guys hanging there. We also have this adorable little ice cream cone keychain, along with this little Tokyo Disney Resort bag, and I keep all of my Disney Cupcake stickers in here, and you can shop Disney Cupcake merchandise link down below. And I also forgot to mention here on the side is where I keep my lightsaber. Over on this other side, I like to hang some of the letters and things that I get from you guys, fun little postcards and pictures. So in a previous video, I mentioned that I would show you guys my little map collection. Now, here are all my Disney maps. I have them in this fun little container 
but I am now out of room. I have a stack of maps going next to this, and I really would like to get a little map like display holder, so I'm working on that. Maybe I will get that here soon. I'm not really sure yet, but I'd love to be able to display all of these maps for the different holidays and things. And I made these little tabs here out of cardboard, separating the different resorts that are from. So here we have all my Walt Disney World ones, my Disneyland ones, and then there behind that, with another little tab, we have all of my International Park ones. And I love to collect Disney maps and display them. They are just great little fillers for different displays and things, even these fun little holiday ones, or if you're trying to do one for a specific park, a resort, or theme, they just work really, really well for me. Starting off here on the first shelf, we have my tape dispenser, my stapler. Those are always there. <laughs> Moving up there on the next shelf, we have a fun little Moana beachy shelf. It's a little bit cramped, but I think it worked out okay. There's a bunch of Mystery Minis, Dwarves, and Itty Bitties on that one. Moving up here, one more shelf. I really, really like this shelf. This is a fun little tribute to the Disney Park adventure-themed lands. So there you can see some Funko Pops, some bags, some plates, some plush keychains, and even some little gachapons from Tokyo Disney Sea. Now we're not going to go up to the mystery minis just yet, we're actually going to pan down back here to my desktop area. Here you guys can see by my keyboard and my mouse, I have a Tokyo Disney Resort little placemat. And then moving up here behind that and below my desktop, I like to keep a bunch of little items there all around. I have this little light up Mickey Mouse light from Hallmark, my orange bird sipper from Epcot, a fun little clip from Tokyo Disney Resort, a Funko Pop Stitch luggage tag, and a fun little fake chip plant. One part of my room that I really, really love is all of these fun little postcards and magnets. They're behind my desktop. Here, just panning around, I have some drawings and some pins as well, along with pictures from my trips. Moving now away from that center section, we have another set of shelves here going up to the mystery minis. Here on the bottom, I laid some keychains down there, surrounded by my You Are Here Disney California Adventure and Magic Kingdom mugs from Starbucks, and I put a bunch of Sharpies and little pens in there. There in the center, I have a Walt Disney World little candy container, and there behind them is a bunch of fun photos, other little letters from you guys, and some more stickers there hanging on the back wall. Here moving up, I have my little Disney fig pin collection with some fun Pixar characters there as well. Lastly there above that, I have some really fun items from you guys, from Alani, and some other fun little summer figures. Now moving up to my mystery minis, I like to put all of these summer type characters in the front row. So those are all the ones that you will see here. Behind this first set of Toy Story mystery minis, I have my Fab Five Legos. And here now panning around, I added my Jumbo Funko Pops here to my Mystery Mini display since they do not fit on the top shelves of my room. So there you can see Thanos, Ezra, and my two big Mickeys. And here panning around, it gets a little bit choppy, ending with Inside Out. I also added some other fun little figures and Tokyo Disney items. Up above the mystery minis, I have my shelves of Vinylmations, and I did a bunch of summer-themed ones, again in the front row, just to better tie the room together. So there you can see some Disney Park characters, along with some fun Disney foods and plants. Here on this middle shelf, you guys can see more fun summer ones, along with some bright summer colors. And also I have my bigger Vinylmations there behind. I made sure to add my River Country Summer Goofy there in the center. And moving down again to this other side shelf, you guys can see some more fun, bright Pixar characters. Perfect for the summer. And moving up one more time, we have some more Funko Pops. These are some of my Disney Parks themed Funko Pops. And here on the other side, I have a shelf that mirrors that one that has all of my dwarves. Also there, surrounded by my dwarves, you can see the Funko Pop Dapper Dance.
Now moving to the left of my desk, we have my display case. Here on the top, I have some just basic popcorn buckets. And since it is summertime, there on the right is the kitchen sink Mickey Mouse, perfect for summer ice cream. And now for my first top shelf, I have a little mermaid themed display. There you guys can see my Jumbo Ursula Funko Pop. There in the back, there are Tokyo Disney Resort maps, and they are all summer themed. Here below the Ursula Funko Pop, you can see Ursula Mystery Minis and some other fun little aerial figures. Here below that, inside of that little clear box, you may be able to spot some of the Little Mermaid Legos. Here on the left, there is a flounder little cup from Disney on Ice. They're surrounded by a bunch of really cute little mermaid figures, mystery minis, figural keyrings, itty bitties, and more Funko Pops. Here's another little quick pan through. I have a bunch of little purple confettis there on the Ursula section. There are the Legos inside. And here on the bottom, I have a bunch of little blue confettis to show the ocean. And here behind them, there are more Mystery Minis figures, keychains, and itty bitties. Moving down below the Little Mermaid shelf, we have my Little Stitch and Alani type Hawaii shelf. I actually made this in a live stream, which I'll have linked down below. Here on the back wall, we have some Stitch prints from the Wonder Gallery, and some of the Alani exclusive wishables, some Summer Tsum Tsums, Stitch Funko Pops, Vinyl Mations, and other little stitch figures, candy cases, keychains. And there is a look at the shelf from far away. And here you guys can see I added some of the golden orange confetti to help show sand. And I added another one of those clear boxes to help give some height. Moving down once again we have my retro Disney shelf. This shelf includes some plates, pins, some old Disney tickets and parking tickets and receipts, old photo pass cards, and just some other old Disney items. Moving down here one more time, here on the bottom shelf we have some more old Disney toys. To the left of my Disney display case I have my Minnie Mouse the Main Attraction pin book, and on the wall here I have my pin board made up of five cork boards that I got at a craft store. Here, moving to the left of the pin board, I have my closet door. On my closet door, you guys can see a lot of Disney fan art from you guys, along with my hamburger pass holder case. And I also hung up some of my Tokyo Disney Resort bags that are very summer themed, like the Sea Rider and the Disney Pirates Summer. Here to the left of that, we have another dresser here from Ikea. Here on top of the dresser, we have all of the fun Disney Parks themed wishables, along with buttons and Kingdom of Cute characters. There's also a bunch of rainbow confetti and a share a Coke with Disney Springs, along with a Disney Springs grand opening little card. And a lot of you guys on Instagram were asking me where I got this, and I actually got it from whenever they renamed Downtown Disney to Disney Springs at Disney World. There on my Disney Cinderella Castle, I have a bunch of magic bands there scattered around, along with the orange bird ears, just to go along with the whole summer theme. And I did this whole display in honor or in hopes of Walt Disney World announcing their opening date here. So all of the rainbow confetti and kind of everyone all around the castle is just kind of celebrating the grand opening again. Here above my train station Lego, we have a little child shelf, and here I have the Build-A-Bear Child plush, along with two of the Funko Pops, and the Build-A-Bear plush is actually just holding the place of the 10-inch child Funko Pop, which should be coming soon, and I will be doing a video on that. Here above that shelf, I have my TV, and surrounding my TV, I have some of the bottles from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, along with some of the different Funko Pops to go along with that. So there you guys can see DJ Rex, some Stormtrooper helmets, one of my Babu Fricks, and I even added my Pandora Wishables there too.
Moving here to the left of the castle, we have my H full of more Disney pins. These are just some of my Disney Park pins and all of the attractions. That's one of my favorite pin collections. There we have one of my Disney Store keys and two little Cinderella Funko Pops in honor of the 70th anniversary. And now here we have the last area of my room, which is my bed. Here to the right on the wall, we have this little black display case. So I actually get a lot of questions about this little black display case. This is actually a shot glass container that I got from Michael's or most craft stores actually have them. This is great to put figures in and they can actually fit vinylmations inside of them and some mystery minis. It really just depends on the size and character. And there inside I put a bunch of fun little Finding Dory and Pixar characters along with some of my little metal Disney figures just to help keep that summer theme going all throughout. And there above that I have some of my little Stitch domes. The Hollywood sign there surrounded by more of those metal Mickey figures. And here above my window, I decided I wanted to find a place to hang up my keys. So here I have some of my Tokyo Disney keychains, which I love. And I also have my Star Wars Half Marathon Virtual Run Disney medal. And then next to that, I really wanted to hang up my keys. So I have all of my Disney keys hanging here, and I think they look so, so cool. I would like to make some sort of display with them in the future once this kind of gets filled up. But I need to wait and see where the Run Dizzy medals will fit and where I can put some of the other plushes and things. But for now, I really, really like them here. And I also have more of the Tokyo Disney plush and some other really, really cute little plush keychains and magnets up here. Now panning down here behind my window on my bed, I have all of these little sewn Mickey Mouse plushes. And a lot of you guys ask in my live streams where I got those. I got those all at the Disney parks, but I know sometimes they're online. So just check Shop Disney or check the Disney parks. Some of them are a few years old, so there is no guarantee that they are still available. Here on the shelf behind my bed, and I forgot to mention my bed is from Ikea, I have this lamp with the Disney Pirates Summer Bandana on it, and below that I did a Disney Rides themed shelf. So these are all fun little ride vehicles, little transportation systems, and other fun little figures. I also talked about in that room cleaning video, these little clear stands are super, super helpful. I got them on Amazon, and if you guys would like more information about those, don't forget to check out that cleaning video. Here above this display, I have another little shelf of Vinylmations. Now, normally this shelf of Vinylmations always features in the center the dated year Vinylmation, but they don't have that anymore, which I'm super, super sad about. I would love if they would still release the dated year Vinylmations just as a fun little collectible. So the last dated year that I have is 2018, so I just moved those to the back and moved this 35th anniversary Disney Store figure to the front. And there surrounding them I tried to add a bunch of other summer themed Vinylmations. And lastly there above that we have my Skyliner framed photo. Moving back down here to the shelf, I have my Epcot 35 Starbucks mug with a bunch of remotes inside, along with some of my custom Disney Park map coasters. Now we are back on the same wall as my door, and here on the bottom of the wall you guys can see my YouTube subscriber count and my Instagram follower count, and I actually made those myself. Moving above that, we have my light switch and my Disney Castle collection pin display. I also did a video on this first pin that was released there in the top left, along with this actual case itself that hangs up on the wall. It's a nice silver frame, and if you guys like to check out that video, it is also linked in that pin playlist. Above that, I have two of my newest Funko Pops. And here on the side of my bed, I have three other shelves. This first shelf is a tribute to Runaway Railway there with some Wishables and the Casey Jr. Popcorn Bucket. Below that, there you guys can see some of my Finding Dory Itty Binnies and my little Minnie Mouse coin bank there on the bottom. Now don't worry, I did not forget to mention my Funko Pops there all around the top. I have these fun little shelves there in between to help fill them in and I think I'm going to need to add some more soon. This little drop down shelf is perfect for my larger Funko Pops and here just making my way around my room. You guys will see all of the different ways that I have these sorted out.
So that is my Disney summer room tour. Do not forget to comment all of your Q&A questions down below and subscribe and stay tuned for that Q&A video along with my age reveal. I love making my Disney displays and getting to share my Disney collection with you. Don't forget to check out my Twitter and Instagram for behind the scenes photos and more. With all of that said, with all of that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!